Welcome back to The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Nice. Nice. It's part 69. Nice. And it's 420. We got there. We only kind of planned this. Sort of. This city's freaking huge! <laughs> what a wonderful Flash beginning pass. to this part. Oh, wait, is this... Stell's gotta go wait, find... Wait, is it this funky town? Joint. Uh, we made it to Funky yeah, Town. You know, Legal never came back with if we're actually allowed to do that or not. Oh yeah, hi Professor Alba. Yeah, he's he's in the party. Uh, he was our scapegoat for getting here. Otherwise, the military would have beaten us to a pulp because we're yep. teenagers. Yep. So, now that we're here, can you get us some of those cool Slifer Red Blazers? Because I've been trying to get into that <laughs> academy. <laughs> Why do you want to be in Slifer Red? Because the underdogs are always the most endearing. I mean, Cyrus started Professor as a Slifer Alba's Red, and he made it to Obelisk Blue. Jaden could have made it to Obelisk Blue, but he chose to stay in Slifer Red because he's a fucking dweeb. Yeah, Jaden's a, a weirdo, all right. Yeah. But what about Chun Li? I think he. I, no one ever talks about Chun Li. I remember. I think he leaves at some point. Does he? Yeah. I actually don't remember. I'm pretty sure he actually leaves because I, I think he no because originally he had a character arc where he is up against his dad. And like he want his dad want him to come back to like the hot sauce business, and they have this stupid oh, rule <laughs> where like this sounds like you're making it up. I'm not. I'm literally not making it up. <laughs> I know. I believe you. It sounds like you're making it up, though. But yeah, basically his uh, his his dad was like a successful hot sauce salesman, and he wanted Chumley to join him. But he didn't want to do it, and then I guess at some point he changed his mind. He decided he wanted to just go back and be with his family. Oh no, the popcorn machine's fucked up. Shit, how are we supposed to get our munchies on now? Yeah, it's four twenty. We have to blaze. Yeah, and we're gonna and we're gonna get the munchies. Yeah, because he leaves. This after is inevitable. Because he leaves after season two, and Yu Gi Oh GX has I think four seasons. Jesus. Yeah. There's more than one episode. There was a hundred and fifty something, bro. We got the booyah base. I don't believe that. Yeah, he loses. Anyway, he loses to his own dad in episode nine. Since since we're in a in a new town, uh, we are gonna go around and do all the the exploring and shopping, which means all sorts of new recipes to get. Yay. Yeah. Also, just this is also oh, the this is the largest town, obviously by uh, what Estelle and Joshua were talking out of the top of the part. Takoda Estelle, freaking huge, one, two, huge. Three. There are yeah, there's four screens total to it. Um, Jesus, that's not including the castle itself. That's pretty big. Or the. Uh, the underground, there's also, like, an underground waterway, uh, as well. So, there's, there's a lot, uh, in this town. We have a bunch of new, uh, equipment to be had, uh, so get suited up with that. This is some of the best stuff you can get, uh, in the game. Nice. Uh, there's, I mean, this is the last shop, so. Gotcha. Okay, last thing about no. Chumley. He actually got uh, recruited by Pegasus to work for him. That's what happened. Weird. You wouldn't believe that. I don't. I don't believe Demi that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX went past one episode, so... It was just a fever dream. It was someone's fever dream. Yeah. 
Uh, so the big stuff we need to do is uh, selling stuff. After we do, yeah, after we uh, explore the entire town, uh, our big mission is to actually go to the Bracer Guild and you know talk to them because you know we have to check in as Bracers. Yeah. Something tells me that's gonna take a little while though. Oh hi Shepard. How's how's your trilogy of games doing? The map This is just an empty house. Yeah. The map screen that you didn't pull up for like a large chunk of the let's play because you forgot you could do it. Yeah, like half of it. Talk. It wasn't until last chapter that I started doing it. Oh yeah, um, I just, I skipped the whole buying process of, uh, my ornaments and I just showed off what, uh, what I added to my shiz. So this is, uh, West Block. Um, the big stuff over here is there is a cafe, uh, this is where the Liberal News headquarters is, uh, not in this cafe, but in this section of town, and there's also a, uh, a church here as well. Chef's Curry. And Rich Espresso, and if you haven't already bought a vegetable sandwich before, you can buy one now. Yeah, up there is where the, the church is. And then if we head up here, this is North Block. Uh, North Block, uh, there is... Um, the biggest thing is the, the hotel um, that's in this town. And then it uh, heading continue to head north is where the castle is. And then over here, Trader. Trader. This is, that's not very nice. This is East Block. Uh, this is there's the giant shopping mall. There is the uh, martial arts stage, and then the the Erebonia and uh, Calvin uh, embassies are in this area. Yeah, so that's basically a quick breakdown of uh, each area of the map. Red Pep Kitty. Kind of a name... Actually, no, they used to be a pretty common name. Yeah. What kind of name's Cloud? That's not even my yeah, real name! About Kitty. You know it's not that my real name. name! You refuse to call it's me by real, my real name. It's your real legal name. Your real legal gaming stooge's name. Yeah, and that's all that really matters. Anyway, uh, pick up uh, the little Brawl News issue 8 if you wish to know what's going on in the world. And if you don't, then you can be ignorant, I guess. That's fine. Nothing really new as far as accessories go. But if you're missing any uh, status element uh, blocking uh, accessories, now's a good time to pick them up. I think that covers just about everything we need to do, so let's let's go to the Bracer Guild. Hell yeah. Elnin. Grant. Grant kinda name's Grant. Grant seems pretty. Oh, yeah, cool. we, we know that one. We know Karna. Heard. Who are these goons? Looks like a full party of four. Something we don't have. Something you'll never have, Cloud. Oh, hey, Karna. What's up? Oh, yeah. We did also meet Grant once. He was passing by in, uh... It would be the... Bose region. 
Yeah. The other two we haven't met yet. And then obviously... Elna. The cutie behind the desk. What? They're gonna go into the World Martial Arts Tournament? Why aren't we there? Sorry, my video froze. What time are we at? Not nice. Probably at the end of it. 10.37, 10.38, Uh, okay. I got it. Not nice, Jack. Can't have this oh happening on the nice part. It's a pretty boy. He's cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's... I I did say he was the cute. Yeah, the desk. no, I was like, I want. I thought I, my video froze. I'm like, I wonder if Landon is like actually being serious, or if he's just fu or if he's just like you know, it's just some fucking. You're just fucking uh, with me. Just like a a dog or something, and no, <laughs> no, you were <laughs> just some dog or some it's ugly just motherfucker. A dog behind the yeah, why not? Desk. No, it is. It is the cutie behind the desk. <laughs> Ugh. Estelle, that's a mood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta fill them in and what the what the fuck's going on. That's probably smart. Thank you, Fade Out, for conveniently skipping through like twenty minutes of Joshua explaining everything. I can do it in five. I can just imagine how annoyed, like, in the back of my mind, like, I feel if I was Joshua, I'd be pretty tired of explaining the same thing to, like, every major character that I have to explain things to over and over. And it just gets progressively longer because I have to explain the last thing that I did after the last person that I just explained things to. Yeah. It's like the Temple of the Ocean King from <laughs> Phantom Hourglass. Yeah. <laughs> When's that LP? Ugh, one day. One, one day. I, I already uh, have Raw Part 1 up. Man, can... Can he join our party? You wish. Um, hmm. I do wish! That's why I asked. Well, I'll disappoint you and say... Yeah. Oh, okay. Let him down gently. <laughs> oh, should I accidentally pause my video? We're at like what ten or thirteen oh ten thirteen oh eight. Probably at the beginning. Thirteen oh nine. Okay. God damn it, Landon. I'm good. Thirteen eleven twelve. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Character's name is Elman. Elman. Yeah. He is only known by Elman. Hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't realize that. Uh. The um, the the PC re-release for Trails in the Sky touched up a lot of the portraits. Uh, no, <laughs> that's the Vita release. Or the Vita release, rather. Yeah, the PC release is this release, uh, just with you know, the in-world sprites look nicer because they're you know not running on a PSP. And, yeah. uh, Why didn't you get this uh, on the PSP? Some of the text. Uh, because it never released. That version never released in the West. And you can All talk right. to Xseed about that. Alright, uh, you guys can go on ahead. I'm going to hang out with uh, Mr. <laughs> Bracer Receptionist. Alright, bye, Jack. Alright, see ya. We're going to go meet the queen or whatever. Probably see some hot dudes there instead. So this is hmm. Grand Cell Castle. You have my attention. See, I got him to come along <laughs> by lying for him. It's fine. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a motherfucker. And just know how to pull your uh, your shoestrings, as, as one would say. 
it's a it is a large gate. Yeah. Joshua, thank you for pointing it out. All right, guys, how do you think we're going to get past these two guards? You want to take the one on the left and I'll take the one on the right? Or how do you guys want to do this? I will seduce them. Perfect. Get up there, Jack. All Show right. them what you got. Jack All is right. just so horny for Elnin that he's got to take <laughs> it out somewhere. Just start dry humping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, no, no, come on. That's mean. Come on. That is not nice. I'm horny, not depraved. What's the difference? One of them has control, the other one doesn't? Nah, eh, he's on the internet regardless, so they're the same thing. Private alutes. Horny, adjective, feeling or arousing sexual excitement. Depraved, right, depraved, adjective, morally corrupt or wicked. Same thing. God damn it. I knew you would say that. <laughs> it didn't really matter what you were going to say, because Landon already had his script prepared. Yep. Gaming yeah, unlike you guys, I wrote a script for my lines. Gaming Stooges is all scripted. I could, the the I secret's could just, out. The, the script for Landon just says, other person says a thing, and it says, ignore thing, say this phrase. <laughs> say wacky catchphrase. Read one line from NPC dialogue. Two. And then you have you have like a spreadsheet. You just have a sheet that just says random phrases of NPC dialogue, and it just says pick one when needed. <laughs> Lieutenant. Short. Oh yeah, they're talking about. Yeah, they're talking about everything that, that's been happening, including the uh, the royal guard uh, being. Uh, Talked about his ter like uh, being captured as terrorists and stuff, and uh, maybe we'll see some of them eventually when we break into the castle and enter the dungeon room. Oh yeah, um, so because the queen is feeling ill, air quotes, uh, someone's working as her proxy in her stead, um. And it's not uh, Colonel Richard at the moment, but he's the one who put them there. Uh, everyone vote now on your phones. Who's the, who, do, who do we think the proxy is? Oh, uh, I'm going to... Time's up. Oh. Who do we think it is? If your guess was this oaf, congratulations, you win. We, oh, no. We did it? Oh no. Yeah, it's, it's the Duke. <sighs> you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rewind about six minutes in the video. Just gonna just gonna go back to looking at Elnin. What if I told Consuming you? Assuming exclusively back. beer and donuts. <laughs> I mean if you want, Jack, you can just look at Philip. Is Duke Dunnan just Homer Simpson? More or less. Probably more than less, but yeah. Oh yeah, he's great, uh, great. He's, uh, late to getting to the World Martial Arts Tournament. The only thing great about him is his ego. <laughs> so yeah, the Duke is <laughs> acting as a proxy. <laughs> Still. And so, um... I fear for the entire country. Me too. Same. Me, me too. Are we talking about the game or real life? Who knows? Yes. It's both. Estelle, right on cue. I knew it. Damn it, Estelle. Stop stop reading our commentary in advance. Just stop reading our I script. Just you the script. Yeah. Estelle actually knows what's going on outside of this game. She's secretly breaking the fourth wall the entire time. So yeah, we've learned a few things, like uh, some big fat duty head is in charge. And also Duke Dunnan is around.
Please, can we go? Guys, can we go? Can we go to the World Martial Arts Tournament? Yes. But no flying. What? No turning Super Saiyan. What? Any other dumb rules? No, that's it. Um, hmm. We just can't humiliate the guy. Oh. What if they two turn Super Saiyan first? If Duke Dunnan can turn into a Super Saiyan, I'm rage quitting this LP. Well, he's not. He's not fighting. The tournament. He's, he's just spectating the tournament. We should fight him in the tournament. Kick his okay. kick his ass. If I told you he was a boss fight at some point, would you believe me? I wouldn't, but I would be very excited. Okay. Purely because I know that he that would get his ass kicked, and it would be an easy boss but I fight. I won't tell you. What if I told you Philip was the boss fight instead? I'd be a little upset, because Philip seems pretty cool. And he's, like, hiding hidden potential and would just one-hit KO Badass us. Badass butlers tend to do that. Yeah. Bad, Bad value, value, but it's not but... my money. <laughs> wow. Stop talking about gaming stooges like that. Oh, wait. That's, so, pr so that's yeah. pretty sucky, but what can you do? Both. Whoop. So, yeah. Estelle has uh, a lot of great one paying... in this part. We, yeah. Estelle, just no, pulled, Estelle just pulled a land in stealing my wallet. Whoops, Thank here's a thousand. What happens if you don't show your tickets? Uh, you don't go in. Oh. You just don't progress the story. Oh, I thought there was, I thought you would, like, sneak in. No. Oh. No. The game's not that... It's a but thou must. Cool. Yeah. I do like this track. Can't really hear it. Let me turn it up. Feels like you're in a world martial arts tournament. I would hope so. Arena. We are. Uh, isn't that what we're here? Yeah, we're here to spectate. There are so many different floor textures in this room. I know. It's great. Makes you really feel like you're at a world <laughs> martial arts tournament. This game makes <laughs> you feel like. Makes you feel like Batman. You know, because Joshua's in the party. Da -da -da -da. Seventh round is now starting. Oh boy. Why can't we take part in the tournament? Because we need to, like, it's sign up or late. whatever. Yeah. And it's, like, we're already busy. started. Also, we're bracers and we have jobs to do. Yeah, we don't have time for silly games. Huh, weird. The t these were one-on-one -on -one matches, but now they're not. Oh, hey, bracers with nothing better to do. Nice. Oh, wait, the captain of that team coming in right now is Kurt. Why is it that the character who looks least exciting design-wise is the captain of that team? I wonder which side is going to win. It's the random guards. Yeah, yeah. Like just like it just, just like I thought. Yep. Are we gonna watch like a fake battle? What do you mean fake battle? And oh, Wait, we... no, yeah, this is this is what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. A battle that we don't partake in is what I meant to say. Yeah, we're gonna watch a battle like as if it were a, you know, played out as if it were a fight in this game. Yes, we are witnessing a scripted battle. So Whoa, I already am. Thanks, though, Kurt. So this is basically a cutscene. Yes. It's like when Agate and uh, Lawrence fought. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we're running in, watching... Uh, some of the world tournament stuff, which is nice. Uh, looks like the Bracers are off to a great start here. Um, 
Uh oh. We got a, a heel move out of Kurt right now. Um, and now, who's up now? Karno's gonna use Spiral Fire and Spiral just blow flare. up some people. Nope. Uh, oh, eight leaves Blitz. Where have I heard eight leaves before? Grant Special. Probably. Well, he did murder a guy, so I guess that was cool. Wow, this is a shocking turn of events. I My money was on the other team, so fuck me, I guess. I will see you in the next part when I... Crawl out of well, debt. Actually, actually, it was Cloud's money, so never mind. We'll see you in the next part.